Hello friends, uh, welcome to the MBBS buddy. It is our second video on uh, in the playlist of eyeball and uh, in this video we are going to uh, learn about the wall of eyeball. Okay, so uh, wall of eyeball is composed of three layers. Uh, basically it has three layers which are outer, middle and the inner one. The outermost is uh, also known as the tunica externa or tunica fibrosa. Okay, the middle one is known as the tunica media or tunica vasculosa, and the innermost, uh, which is tunica interna or tunica nervosa, it is also known as the retina. Okay, uh, so we will uh, go in detail of this in this video. The outer one is also divided into two parts: the cornea and sclera. Uh, the middle has three parts which are the choroid ciliary body and last and the anterior most is the iris and retina is composed of 10 layers uh, we will look later on okay uh, so the outer or the tunica externa or fibrosa uh, it preserves the shape of eyeball okay uh, it is the outermost and uh, it is fibrous layer so it is also known as a fibrosa and uh, it preserves the shape of eyeball it has two parts uh, it has one posterior large part uh, which is 5 sixth of the total uh, outer layer and one anterior 1 sixth okay uh, in last video we also uh, seen the division of uh, eye total eye uh, which was like uh, 5 sixth in the orbital uh, orbital cavity and uh, the 1 sixth anterior part so it is something like this uh, okay the posterior 5 sixth is opaque and uh, it is known as the sclera and the outer or the anterior is the transparent okay cornea so the light can enter okay uh, it's basically like this if this is eyeball uh, then the anterior part okay we will look into different color okay uh, so it will be something like uh, this one will be our cornea from which the light will enter so it has to be transparent and the posterior 5 6 or uh, the uh, posterior 5 6 is clara which is opaque okay uh, it is whitish in appearance okay and this clara is formed by white fibrous tissues and the elastic fibers whereas the cornea is uh, formed by five layers okay uh, which they are uh, they are like uh, this the first one is the stratified epithelium second is the Bowman's membrane uh, third one is the substantia proper fourth one is the uh, desmans layer and the fifth one is the endothelium okay and uh, the refractive index of the cornea is given uh, which is 1.376 and uh, the lamina Cribrosa is the another term. Uh, it is for the piercing or piercing point of the optic nerve into the sclera. So uh, this is sclera. Okay, this this portion is the sclera, and uh, something like uh, the optic nerve will live from the eye, from the uh, posterior part, and uh, where it pierces the uh, sclera, uh, that point is known as the or that uh, circular uh, rim is known as the. Uh, lamina cribrosa okay although uh, so the uh, sclera and uh, the cornea are continuous with each other okay they are continuous with each other uh, like it doesn't have the different type of uh, compo uh, means uh, doesn't have the different composition directly uh, they, they both are the part of outer layer only okay so there is another term uh, where this uh, transition tech parts okay so it has the term limbus so limbus is like uh, where the transitional part of between the sclera and cornea it has width of one millimeter okay and uh, the arteries sorry arteries or blood vessels which are there they form the superior marginal plexus uh, if this one is our uh, cornea and uh, let's see uh, suppose this one is our sclera so uh, the junction point here uh, it is known as the limbus okay and uh, the arteries uh, or the blood vessel will form the plexus there okay so this plexus is known as the superior marginal plexus 
the middle layer uh, is also known as the tunica media or vasculosa vasculosa due to uh, it is vascular okay uh, so it has three parts uh, one is choroid second is the ciliary body and uh, the third part is the iris okay uh, the choroid which is vascular layer it is present between the sclera and retina so obviously it will be into the posterior five sixth part okay because we know that the retina and the sclera compose only posterior five sixth of the total eyeball okay uh, it is composed of rich capillary plexus okay so that's why it is vascular a uh, number of small arteries and veins are present into the choroid uh, we also call it as the uh, choroid plexus okay uh, then comes the ciliary body ciliary body is the thickened anterior part between the choroid and the iris okay so basically this one will be the choroid then there will be some thickness here and then we have our iris so this thickened part is known as the ciliary body uh, the suspensory ligament uh, are attached to it suspensory ligament uh, they attach the lens to the ciliary body okay <coughs> so it also has three parts uh, the orbiculus ciliaris uh, it is continuous with the choroid and forms uh, two third of the ciliary body okay so ciliary body is also divided into the parts uh, where the major portion is formed by the orbiculus ciliaris second is the uh, ciliary body proper okay uh, so it is made up of two sets of muscle uh, basically if we are crossed uh, something like this uh, ki, uh, it has it is made up of uh, two sets and all then most probably it has mostly the chances of uh, the outer and the inner layers which will be outer longitudinal and inner circular okay and they are supplied by the parasympathetic fibers of the oculomotor nerve okay uh, then uh, there is the ciliary processes okay the ciliary processes are the finger like projection from the inner surface of the ciliary body okay uh, so uh, uh, see like this if this is ciliary body then it has number of, uh, number of finger like projection from uh, inner side this is suspensory ligament and this one is the lens then these are the ciliary processes okay <clears throat> then comes the iris iris is located in front of the lens okay uh, if uh, this is lens then iris comes like this from ciliary body and this one is upper one okay and uh, into the center uh, there is a circular opening which is known as the pupil okay so it has work of uh, basically it is uh, it acts like the diaphragm diaphragm of the camera so it is diaphragm of uh, our eye okay and uh, iris is formed by muscles so uh, it has basically two type of muscles uh, which are the uh, which are the constrictor pupillae or the iris sphincter or pupillary constrictor muscle uh, they are constrictor muscles okay and uh, they are circular muscle fibers so if they contract uh, if this is one layer if it contracts uh, it will be become a small uh, small circle okay so its contraction uh, will reduce the entering light okay and uh, it will constrict the pupillae pupillae is uh, basically the opening so it will contract the pupillae the diameter of the pupillae will uh, become less uh, by the contraction of the constrictor pupillae and uh, then there is the dilator pupillae or a pupillary dilate, uh, dilator muscles they are radial in fashion uh, you can see here uh, they are radi uh, if it is the pupil then they are radiated outwards and if they are contracted then uh, if they are contracted they will contract like this and uh, the diameter of the pupil will get in, uh, will get increased okay so they will increase the amount of light uh, entering in our eye so basically iris has function of uh, controlling the amount of light which goes in our eyes okay and uh, the innermost layer or the tunica interna or nervosa like tunica nervosa it is also known as the retina uh, and it has the most important function in our eye which is the sensing of images or creating the images uh, 
it is made up of 10 layers okay uh, and this 10 layers are uh, from uh, the inner to out outside uh, means uh, from yes from inner to outside uh, they are like the layer of uh, pigment epithelium second one is the layer of rods and cones third one is the external limiting membrane fourth one is the outer nuclear layer fifth one is the outer plexiform layer sixth one is the inner nuclear layer and seventh is the outer plexiform layer eighth one is the ganglion cell layers uh, the ninth one is the uh, layer of nerve fibers and uh, the last tenth is the internal limiting membrane okay so the internal limiting membrane will uh, face the aqueous chamber of eye and uh, the layer of pigment epithelium will face towards the uh, middle layer uh, which is the tunica tunica media okay so that was all about the uh, wall of eyeball uh, we will uh, go in detail of uh, retina into the next video uh, thanks for watching this video if you liked it then uh, uh, comment in comment box uh, like uh, anything if you wanted to add or uh, anything you have suggestion thanks guys thanks for watching this video